Hi, this is a, a very short sequence to release the diaphragm, primarily working on the muscle. So for this sequence, I want you to be breathing through the nose softly and ignore any other um, element of breath work or alignment that you may be practicing otherwise. Just focus as much as possible on the effect that these poses will have. More experienced practitioners may find the difference even after each pose. Some more novice ones may see the impact after the whole five poses are completed or maybe even after they have done it for a few days consecutively. So starting with the first one, we will be in standing and we will be going to side flexion. Feet hip distance apart. If you find balance signs in this way, have them a little bit wider. And you will take the left arm over your head. You will make a fist with the left hand. And from there, you will go into a side flexion. The hips go towards the left, the arms go towards the right. And you will go as far as you can. Try to keep the right shoulder forward and uh, use your breath uh, to go a little bit further. People that are flexible enough uh, you want to aim to bring uh, the 12th rib of the right side over your hip bone. For most people this will not matter because you will not be going that far. Slowly come all the way up, switch grip. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, you take now the arms towards uh, the left, hips go towards the right. Again, right shoulder is forward. You want to be staying two-dimensional. The tendency here is to turn the chest towards the floor. So, left arm hip forward. And slowly release. It is likely that uh, you will come into a breath hold while performing this exercise. And if that's the case, that's absolutely fine. Moving on into um, a lunge, uh, we step the right foot forward, the left leg back. I suggest that you lift the back heel off the floor. If that's an unstable position for you, you can bring it on the floor like in a warrior one fashion. But uh, preferably with the back heel off the floor, you want to keep your ribs in, soft, tailbone forward, navel in, and uh, to the extent that uh, your shoulder flexibility allows you, which I would expect for most people will, you will interlock the thing uh, just behind your back and straighten the elbows. So from here, shoulder blades towards each other, and uh, the stretch will be by you sending the right knee forward and uh, sending the left heel back. Shoulder blades towards each other. You want to maintain the setup of your midsection we described earlier. It is likely that uh, as we go deeper into the stretch, the tendency will be to bulge the belly. So we want to be thinking of pulling our navel in, tall crown of the head, so you don't lean forward or you stay in an upright position, and gradually you go low as much as your flexibility allows you. You can upgrade a little bit the stretch by pulling the arms a little bit higher. and release, come out and switch sides. For the most part, you want to be thinking of lowering your hip and uh, keeping the back knee straight. One cue that may help you is to think of the right heel in this side going back as well. Navel in, you can be lifting your arms. And slowly release. Next one, we are coming into a standing forward bend. So, from here, you will be having your hands on the pelvis, straight spine, and if you need to micro bend your knees, do so, you might not be needed, 
and you send uh, the hips back with your hands. Once you have found your maximum forward fold with a straight spine, you can start, you can stay there for a couple of seconds and then fold forward. Place the hands on blocks on the floor or behind your legs and you round your back here. You can keep pulling the um, back of the legs up if you have access to this position. Elbows going in. Soft breathing. Head heavy, make sure there is no pressure on your neck and micro bend your knees and slowly come up. The last two poses will be done on the floor. We will be lying on our abdomen and uh, having the hand same level with uh, our eyes uh, extended. We, we start with the right hand extended, left hand next to the head, we push with the left hand and we pivot on the right shoulder. From here we turn sideways. Some people will be coming up to this point, some may be able to shift the hips further away from the extended arm and uh, have the knees bent uh, and up toward the ceiling. The more you rotate now, the more of a stretch would be on uh, your back and uh, the front of the shoulders. Some people may have the ability to get hold of their hand, but if you don't, don't worry. The focus here should be on sending the legs uh, towards the extended arm. People with sensitive lower back should be careful here, and also, as if this is a piece, should also be avoided by pregnant women. Couple of more breaths. And release. Come out. And second side. Extend the left arm out. Push with the right hand. Pivot on the left shoulder. Shift your hips away from the extended arm. And now focus on sending your knees towards the extended arm. Stay here. Soft breathing. It might or might not be easy to breathe uh, softly here, but uh, try to work towards it. And slowly release. Last exercise will be a shoulder stand. Uh, so from here you will roll on your back, place your hands on the rib cage, at the lower part of the rib cage, legs together. The breath is likely to get uh, longer here without you changing. And slowly you can make your way out. This sequence can be practiced prior to any breath work, but uh, those of you that uh, practice it regularly should consider it to be part of your breath work uh, for the simple reason that uh, it will allow your um, diaphragm to move more freely and uh, your ribcage to expand also 
more with every inhalation. 